Well everyone, we finally got our hands on it, the Toyota GT1. We've been tinkering around with it and we finally got a tune for the 800pp races and this will get it round Sardinia in 24 minutes and 20 seconds. And that's in my hands so if there's anyone better out there than a BS driver you can get round probably I'd, I'd say almost in 24 minutes crux of it is you're still going to make 1.8 million credits an hour even if you race this and it's not as good as the Mazda 787B or the Nissan R92 or any of those group 1 cars that we've covered previously but it is a solid car and it was good fun driving it once you've tuned it in got it racing properly because it does have a bit of oversteer when you first get round to it it's a cracking car to drive so I'm just going to run you through the fastest lap here, I'm on fuel map 2 so as you come up to turn 1 you want to brake just before the 100 mark drop it down to 60 mile an hour steady on the power and then take it full throttle through turns 2 and 3 as you come up to turn 4 you want to be braking just after the 50 marker and then as you get to the corner just let it roll around the apex turn 5, straighten out a bit, brake and then turn in same again, smooth as you exit Turn 6, you want to brake after the 50 marker and then let it roll round and then as the corner starts to straighten out, get full on the throttle and then you're all the way down the back straight then. For turn 7, you're going to want to brake between the 150 and 100 marker, turning in slightly for the hairpin and then as you come round the corner and straighten out on the accelerator. Be smooth through turn 8. There's a bit of a dip in the road and if you hit it wrong it can spin the back end out. Turn 9 is nice and easy and then turn 10 you are just brake, keep to the inside and then for turn 11 you're taking it full throttle once you get past the apex. Braking at the 100 marker for turn 12, same again, hairpin, letting it nice and smooth out and then you're all the way home. Don't need to let off for the final turn, just full throttle all the way through and that brings us home for a 133.7 now I did this after a uh, maybe two goals uh, and that was tuning just after this so you can do better lap times than this easy in terms of strategy this is a one stop strategy so we've got racing hard tyres on you don't need to change the tyres uh, and the fuel at the moment uses so from top to bottom fuel map 1 15%, fuel map 2, 14, 3, 13%. Don't know about 4 and 5, but fuel map 6 ends up as 9 slash 10%. So you can sort of fill in the gaps there of that fuel map 4 and 5 being 12 and 11%. So the way I ran it is the first stint I did 8 laps and I did it at fuel map 3 for most of it. And then for the last lap, I did fuel map 6. Topped up my fuel. And then for the rest of the race, you could have, I could have ran fuel map two. I wasn't too sure. I didn't work out the maths in my head, but you can run at fuel map two for the remainder of the race. So I, I ran at fuel map three again, um, and I ended up with a bit of spare at the end. So let me go on fuel map one for the last lap. But that's what brought me out at a 24:20, and like I say, it was good fun. Right, let me show you the tune. So like I said, racing hard tyres, and then for the body height adjustment, you're going to want 40 on the front, 80 on the rear, anti-roll bar, 8 on both, and then damping ratio compression, 20 on the front, 40 on the rear, damping ratio expansion, 50 at the rear, 30, 50 at the front, 30 at the rear, frequency, 3.5 at the front, 5 at the rear, negative camber, 3 at the front, two and a half at the rear and then the toe angles 0 0.05 at the front and 0.15 at the rear and that's just trying to follow the r92 cp uh, tune that i had and all the group one cars quite stable five for the differential and then 503 for downforce at the front and 900 at the back this is why you can't get a high power like you can in the r92 cp on that the downforce at the back goes up to 1600 on this it's only nine so you can't get squeezed as much out of it and then 
The other change you want to make is the power restrictor set to 78. You want a fully customizable racing transmission, not the manual. I tried the manual, it's a lot slower with it. And for the manual adjustment, say it to 250 at first, and then adjust the final gear to 2, and then that should let you get these settings now. So 126, 183, 229, 272, 309, and 363. That's a nice smooth gear change ratio. Uh, turbo charger, you want a medium RPM turbo. You don't need the high RPM turbo for this race. It's all about acceleration. Uh, anti lag set to weak. Um, that's it. You don't need to mess with your brake balance because it's a pretty balanced car. You can see on the weight balance there, 49.51. Don't need to worry about it. And yeah, that's it. So, folks, I hope this is a good tune for you. I've enjoyed this car, uh, I might try and take it around Le Mans, see how it does there on the 700pp race. I'm not thinking about doing the 900pp race for this one because I think there will be better cars for the 900pp race than this one. Thinking the Dodge Tomahawk, the McLaren VGT, maybe a properly tuned uh, R9 2CP and the 787B because on the 800pp races I've done previously the front downforce is set to as low as it can and the rear to the high is set to as high as it can so it'd be nice to use them in the full brunt of what you can get out of them but we shall wait and see uh, until then we'll see you all again next time if you've liked the video don't forget to like subscribe for more and we'll see you all next time adios